Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Zipper Spark and you're watching my FTB Continuum Let's Play series. Now if you remember last time we set a couple satellites off into space and they gave us some data on the asteroids that are up there. And we've got them in here. We've got mass, composition, and distance. Um, and then each satellite chip we've got um, duplicates of. Um, and then this is some of the other stuff we just had that was used in the rocket that we didn't need for launching the satellites. Well, um, the next thing to do is to uh, process the, the satellite data. So I've got this astro body data processor and the data bus ready to go. Um, looking at the quest, I've got um, everything but those two. We figured that they were you know, the new pieces so we can craft those together. So the Astro Body got a couple Planet ID chips, some tracking units, user interface, templates, machine structure. And then the data bus is a machine structure with a data storage unit. So let's put that over here. Um, more than likely, we are going to need uh, let's set the hollow projector. Yeah. There we go. Um, sure, let's put it over here. Mm, it'd be better on this side. Data bus, data bus, input, input power. Let's do that. So let's get this. Oh, we need three data buses. I thought we only needed one. Well, we're going to need more of the data cards. It's going to take a minute. Um, how many of the machine structures are they machine? Oh, that's right. We need to craft them. I don't remember. What they're called exactly, but they are made up in here. Yeah, machine structure, okay. All right, so when I have those other two, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so the quest was, was for three. I just didn't see it properly. So I came and grabbed the one that was down here already. So I'd have three in my inventory all at the same time. And... Stone slab. Whoa. There we go. Oh, you tell it to do different research. Okay. 
So if I take the distance, put it in the input, uh, composition distance research. Oh, I need the power. Oh, I have to have it in my distance in here. Oh, you know what? But I did that wrong. Yeah, I just may have uh, gotten rid of some of that information. All right, so what does this actually say about this? Allows you to use the data you've collected to create asteroid ID chips for asteroid mining missions. Okay. So asteroid ID chips. Let's look at those. Um, I guess that's to send spacecraft to the asteroid itself. These guys are that. The data and the tracking unit, okay. I'll give me one of those. Tracking. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed because each of these had a thousand on it. I put them all in at once and only a thousand got put in the buffer. Maybe we can do this. Where do we put Oh. Uh, composition. This one goes over here. I'm like misplacing things. Yeah, no, these are empty. Oh, distance, there we go. Oh my goodness. All right, distance. Do not know what it's doing. The thousand ninety nine ninety eight. You have to do one at a time.
All right, maybe it just takes a long time. Okay, yeah, it just takes a while. So we'll let it do its research. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to build... Um, well, I'm, I, I'm not sure about building another rocket to send more satellites, because that's just going to back this up some more. So what we could look at... Actually, these... Oh, a choice reward, distance, composition, or mass. Well, let's do distance. Uh, we could go look into start getting our space base. So we have one of them already, satellite base, but we're going to need more. So space station assembler and a space station ID chip. So let's look at that. Space station assembler. We need titanium gears, which is titanium ingots. Uh, titanium gears to those. Um, dilithium dust, advanced circuit, rocket assembly. Did I autocraft that? Monitoring station. Oh, well, I can make a couple of those. We're seeing those. Okay, yeah. I never did get those on AutoCraft. Um, yeah, go in there. Reason is I just need to set this resonator up somewhere where I can, I guess. Um, actually, why don't I do that? Let me get this um, set up on AutoCraft and I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished uh, putting the pattern in for here. So there's the rocket assembly machine and then the space station assembler. Figured I'd, I'd just let it, you know, auto craft so that I could just uh, not worry about doing it. So some of these, it's like, yeah, I'm only going to make one, but it is somewhat tedious to craft, so make the pattern for it. And this we need the linker and a basic circuit. Um, I don't want it to use my linker, so I will well, I'll hide that somewhere. All right, linker. I mean, linkers are cheap, I guess, anyways. So we've got that. Um, so we've got a satellite bay, an extra satellite bay, space station ID chip, and then the space station assembler. And that is almost done. So, with just a couple more titanium. Can take forever. I need to upgrade those um, iron ducts. Alright, where did it go? There we go. So, I don't know if we have a hollow projection of the space station assembler. No. Okay, so I'm assuming it might be something very similar to this, and so moving this is probably what we need. Um, although, let me just throw it here. 
Because there's oh, what is this? Oh. Invalid launch pad structure. Oh, because it's empty, of course. Um, so we could look and see what exactly is needed. All right, so I'm going to read this. Go ahead and pause if you want to read it. I'm going to pause myself so that you don't have to sit through me reading it. Um, and then I'll be back with, I guess, a synopsis of the important bits or whatever. Um, so, yeah, be right back. Okay, so reading through, um, it's, it doesn't look too terribly difficult. So, um, put the space station assembler next to the launching pad, like, or the launch pad, just like you did the, the rocket assembly machine. Then I put a satellite bay and a space station ID chip into, so I had to move this down here, so it was next to the launch pads like the other. So I put the satellite ID or the yeah satellite bay and the satellite ID chip in there. I hit scan and it says it's ready. Um, so I figured we can send up marble because it says, you know, don't worry if you don't have everything you need because you can always build on to it later. So once I get up into space you can, you know, build onto it. So a three by three of marble seems fine to me. So then if we hit build, I'm going to take that, put it into the space station container, and uh, an ID chip. Now we're going to want to take this and copy it. So I need another satellite chip. So another one of these. And one of these. So satellite building yeah okay so here's the station and here's where we want to pro copy it um right the secondary chip there you go and the reason you want to do that is because um you're going to send the rocket up and so you need one of the chips in the rocket and then you need the other chip to actually get to it um so once once we're up there, I'm gonna you know build more onto it. I've got this and I've got you know this, um, but I'm gonna want an easy way to teleport up and down. So I'll probably bring another set of of these things up there: the you know, diving device, receiver, transmitter, and uh, a flex point. So once I get all those things ready to take up with me, I will be back. Okay, so I got the uh, teleport things all ready to go. Um, I built my rocket already. I was able to use seven tanks, one engine, satellite bay, and then the guidance computer. I put one of the chips in there the space station container in there and um, ready ready to go so it's got just enough thrust to wait um, I assume it's gonna work um, if it's ready to me I think that that's it's gonna just sit on the launch pad for a while and then finally get up but um, this needs to get into space and then we can go up there and yeah so probably need to copy this but instead of satellite bay bring a seat um, or you know to bring me up there so yeah um, the, this one this 
So we should be able to launch it. Oh, we need to fuel first. A linker. Let's dash the linker. All right, link, link. Oh, we have to build the rocket first. Build. Okay, well, he's linked. All right, so rocket fuel going in. Ready for launch. Are you linked? This must be the first machine to link. Oh, okay, well. Already linked. Okay. Okay, he's all filled up, ready to launch. So, and then this this one is being weird. It's like not really getting much progress on it. Like if I, I click around, then like the numbers tick down. But yeah, I need to do some research on this to see exactly what is going on. I'm probably just using it wrong, um, but. Yeah, we'll figure that out, I suppose. But let's launch that. There we go. Come on. It's using fuel. I mean, it should get lighter as it uses more fuel. Yeah, I think this is the, the thrust is equal to the weight issue. But we've got tons of dust around us now. Okay. Yeah, I think I just built the rocket wrong. I'll have to wait for it to run out of fuel, I guess. And then it should just show up here, and then we can. See, we don't even have a smoke plume anymore. Huh. All right, well, I'll let this do its thing. I'll probably keep the recording, but then I'll cut out what all the boring parts. So if it does anything exciting, you won't miss it. So hold tight. Surprise! I made it up here. Um, yeah, so you know how I said I'd keep the camera running and I would cut out the parts that were not important. Well, I apparently forgot, and since my start stop recording button is a toggle, um, when I went to, I hit the button, which stopped the recording, thinking I restarted it after I'd stopped it before, but I never stopped it before. And so I recorded a clip that wasn't recorded because I told just told it to stop recording. And then I got up here, you know, so the, the rocket launched, I had to re rebuild it. It looked very similar to that one up above my head, um, but uh, actually let's look at it. So this is the one that I took up here, um, and the reason why it's up there is because the one that launched it ended up landing on this. And so um, we've got two... There was two rockets, one that was there, and I built another ring around. That's why it's a 5x5. Five five. Then I put this here, 
Um, and and so then I disassembled the first rocket. Um, so I've got all of its pieces here with me. And the guy's computer there. Um, yeah. And then this was the one I used to get up here. Um, and so, you know, it's all well and good, but you didn't get to see it. Um, but, so yeah, I'm still in hover mode. So, yeah, I got this hooked up down here and, and uh, you know, rode this rocket up here. So this is the, um, seems like the, the configuration that seems to work. So two of the regular rocket engines, six tanks, you know, three on each side with your stuff in the middle. Um, and so this one has the guidance computer plus the seat where the other one had the satellite bay plus the guidance computer. Um, so I built this rocket after successfully launching the other one. It was able to take off and then I came and I land on top of the other one um, and then yeah build out the ring and then I was here and I was talking and I did my little outro and I said goodbye and everything and then I went to edit the clips together and realized that I had derped on the recording button so I apologize for missing the clips but um, at least you saw that it worked finally. Um, unfortunately, you didn't get to see the final rocket. Um, but like I said, it does look exactly like this one, except for in, there was a satellite bay, and then where the seat is was the guidance computer. Where here, the guidance computer is on the bottom. Um, so yeah, and yeah. So as I said, that you guys missed. Um, I will build up a more proper um, uh, space station here because right now it's just a five by five of marble with some, you know, RF tools, teleporters, and a floaty rocket. But I'll probably end up taking this rocket. Actually, does it have? Yeah, I should have enough fuel to take back. Um, to get back to Earth, so. Yeah, why don't I do the outro on the rocket this time? So let's take off to Earth. And while it is launching back, we will do the little outro. So thank you for watching. And if you did like this episode, make sure you leave a like and comment and subscribe. Let me know what, what you think of this episode. And um, if you're really upset that I lost the footage of me actually getting the space station successfully launched but again I apologize it was uh, yeah anyways I will talk to you guys later bye bye